Alright guys, welcome back to a new video and today I want to show you guys how you can import your UI from Photoshop or Photopea into Roblox Studio. So I will try to make this as simple as I possibly can. If you guys can go ahead and check out our store, gfxcomment.com, we have so many assets. If you can show some support, even if you don't spend a single penny, just download something. Uh, it really helps us. And we also have place and order. And right here, this will take you to our server where you can order a custom commission. Okay, so when we are importing UI, the first thing I like is to take the entire group as a single frame and right click, quick export. And I'm gonna call this stats container. So this will be our entire uh, stats frame, essentially. Okay, and these certain things, like these, we can make, not that, I mean, this we can make in studio. So usually I don't export those. This as well, all these uh, frames. But this thing, the title, we're going to have to export, obviously. So for this one, uh, the way I'm going to achieve this is this is the main frame with the color the blue and right here is basically the backdrop so i'm going to export the backdrop so right click export i'm going to call this stats title back like so it's it and then next i'm going to hide these and bring the title now the caveat with exporting uh stuff like this is if you want to color this in studio you have to make this white so as you can see i'm going to make it white this shading will still apply quick export we'll call it stats title main like so hit save i'm just gonna undo because we have this exported next we have the icon we are going to obviously need this so stats icon shoe i guess and all of these icons right here, which I have already exported um, previously. So I'm going to skip that part. Anyways, now for the background, this is also important. So right click, quick export. This is stats, uh, BG for background container. And then I'm going to click in here. I'm going to make this little accent line white right click export stats accent i'm going to make this white right click and hit export stats background boom and now for the texture i'm going to copy this bring it out bring it out of the shape i'm gonna hit Control i to make this white okay so we have this i'm going to hold Control, click on the shape of the background and we go right click select inverse and delete so now we have just this texture for this shape so right click export stats texture and with that i think we have all of the assets that we need all right so inside studio you're going to go to your asset manager and you're going to import all of the uh, assets that we have exported so here are all the ones I'm adding here it is of the icons I spoke about earlier and now I'm going to use the plugin called UI tools right here I'm gonna hit open I'm gonna change to size open anchor and properties now you can use any plugin you want this is the one that I always use um, I have made a video on the best UI plugins to use, so you can go ahead and check it out. But I believe it is this one right here by Zilli Bobby. So check it out. Anyways, let's make a new screen GUI and call this stats. Inside this, we're gonna add a frame and call this canvas. I'm gonna go set anchor to 0.5 and 0.5. I'm gonna go fit parent, remove background, I'm gonna hit scale. 
Okay, so once we have that, we're going to add a new frame and call this container. And the reason for that is because you're basically going to find your file, your asset, and check the dimensions right here. So 1154 by 694. So right here, I'm gonna go 1164 by 694, yes. Okay, we can make this red basically and slightly opaque so we can see our canvas. And like the name implies, this is our container, which is going to contain um, our entire frame. And since our main consists of multiple parts, I'm going to add a frame, we call this main set anchor so, seven. 650 this is basically our main container right here boom and add an image we call this a background set anchor and grab the where is it at the base right here copy and paste 06 by 646 to hide mains backgrounds so we can actually see this so once you remove background you can see the uh, full shape and now we can add a gradient overlay and basically we're going to grab the colors so right here grab this color once you open this up we're gonna paste the colors both colors we're gonna change the rotation uh, 90 can work Oops. And obviously the bottom part is going to be lighter like this right here. Nice. And I'm also going to make the background 0.05 in transparency. So very slight transparency. Um, inside background, we can add image label and add the little accent bar. So accent copy and go paste so 1074 by 21 remove background set anchor and this will just go right here I think let's grab the blue color and change the color down here there we go and now as for the texture image once again we call this the texture set anchor and we have this right here base texture copy id paste it here grab the size 1083 all right and we're also going to hit scale make sure you hit scale for these as you can see it's currently in pixel value so we're going to hit scale what happens if you don't scale i'm going to show you guys it goes like that okay so if you hit scale oops Sure that's working okay scale for background and, and for main obviously you could do this after you don't have to do it now uh, but yeah you see now scales to your devices okay so texture we want to move this down to like right here i think is proper and i'm going to change the color because this is far too bright um, okay there we go and now in main we're gonna add the title so i'm going to add a frame for the titles container 917 by 120 anchor remove and scale all right inside title first thing i'm going to add is the backing so backing set anchor that's title backing paste and i think fit parent is going to work for this one so remove background scale and inside backing we're going to add the main boom title main copy id paste remove set anchor and grab the size title main 889 by 87 like so 
boom scale. And here we have our title. We're going to change the color. And you can see it looks pretty good. Now we can make this brighter. All right, now we're going to move on to the grid right here. I'm going to show you guys how we can do uh, a grid layout. So if you add some rulers, um, as you can see, we're going to block out the frame for all these items right here and grab the rectangular marquee tool. We're going to go over all these and this is 474 by 434. Boom, 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 434. And this will go like right here. This is our cards, I guess we call it. And now we're gonna grab the size of this card. 147 by 206. Frame. 107 by 206. We can add a corner. This is our template. I'm gonna copy and paste. Fit parent set anchor. It's 147. Put that wrong. Okay, anyways, fit parent. Go remove back on this one. I call this thing main. Lots of back and forth, but I'm going to grab the color. Boom, and then we're gonna add a corner to this thing. Like so, like 0.2. That's too much. <laughs> 0.1. I'm going to hide this. Now, our main copy paste. This will be our mid. I don't know what else to call it. We'll grab the middle color. We want to grab the size offset 136 by 148. Scale again and place it like right here. Yeah, right at the very top. All right, that is basically our card. Now to make this into a grid, we're gonna add a grid layout. We're going to make the cell size the same as the entire card. So basically this whole card right here is 147206, right? 147206. And now basically I'm gonna go change this setting to cell size i'm gonna hit scale and now if we copy template you can see it will automatically put it in a grid layout for us and obviously for cell padding and change from offset to scale as well so like 0 0.05 no 0 0.02 and 0 0.02 and eh, 0 0.03 we could individually modify these card colors right here pretty cool right and the same thing for this layout right here I'm gonna grab i have so many rulers here it's crazy but um oh yeah for the rulers um oh yeah for this thing since this is a scrolling frame you're going to have to account for the scroll bar, this thing, All right? So make sure your selection encompasses the scroll bar like this. So 473 and 439. Okay, scrolling 473 and 439. Boom. Set anchor. Move this thing right here. Boom, boom. We're gonna add our template. Three, boom. Hide, we're gonna add a stroke. Two pixels, we're gonna fix that soon. Uh, grab the stroke color. Right here, and we're going to add a corner. Zero. We're going to add padding to the scrolling frame. Uh, left 0 0.01 and top 0 0.01. 0 0.005. And now we're gonna, now we're going to add a list layout. 
and here we go and as you can see we can copy and paste all these very easily add some padding to the list and check this out let's <laughs> let's make sure our thing scales so size scale scrolling frame scale check this out hide scale and boom now we have a fully functional ui frame just like this as you can see works for ipad tablet uh, laptop iphone anyways if you guys enjoy this video make sure to drop a like down below if you guys can go ahead and check out our store and i will see you guys next time